So uh, we're out here every day with the punters, snappers, getting our field work in while we can. It's fun to have our guys out here hitting the balls, um, managers out here trying to help when they can. Uh, it's pretty funny watching them trying to catch some of these punts because some of their athleticism shows and or doesn't show, so it's always a fun time. Game week is getting closer, and so is the necessity for Paul Christ and the coaching staff to define each player's role on this season's team. Fall camp has a way of doing this naturally, with each practice potentially revealing who's ready to take the next step, or step up, and do more. Three years into their Wisconsin football careers, wide receiver Chim Ray DK and outside linebacker Nick Herbig are all of a sudden the old guys in the room and have embraced their roles as team leaders with open arms. Let's go. Turn up. Boulder. Let's go, Peace. Come on, Peace. Boulder. Boulder. Let's go. Let's go, Tommy. Turn me up, Tommy. I have to step up and be that guy now. You know, Jack's gone, Leo's gone, um, Scotty, Colin, all the guys on defense are gone, you know? So it's kind of on me and, and Nunu to kind of step up and be those guys for our teammates. I know everybody's tired. I know we in the low right now, but bro, we the number one defense in the nation for a reason. We need to win every Rep and capitalize. Let's go. Defense on three, defense on me. One, two, three. Defense. Now he's pulling. Now he's pulling. Good D. I think it all came with time. He always had it in him. To be a leader, a lot of the times you've got to prove yourself on the field first. And we're just waiting for that step, you know, for, from last year, season. Once we got into bowl prep, you know, it was time for him to step up and, and really take that role. Sit! Get him, dude! Get him! Get him! Get him! Nice! I think it's more so just showing it day in and day out, you know, my attitude, my work ethic, uh, coming in here every day, you know, with a smile on my face and ready to work. Zach! Guys are looking at me, you know, whether I like it or not, seeing what I'm going to do, how I'm going to react. So if I'm coming here with a great attitude, positive mindset, high energy, you know, it's only going to bring guys with me, you know. Scoop! 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 Come on! I don't give a scoop the ball. It's good habit. Come on. I want to be the type of guy that people want to go to war with. You know, I want them to be like, yeah, that's the guy I want to follow into war. So I just try to keep that mindset. You know, being one of the oldest and most experienced guys in the room, um, it's definitely something that's different, but something that I accept. And uh, on the field, it's just another year. The game slows down. You're able to read defenses more. You know how to win. Working with, you know, Coach Witted, um, he does a great job of, you know, if, you, if you're willing to learn, um, he's going to teach you. Hey, Cole, burst for five, man. When you catch the ball, Work on your habits. Burst for five yards, you know what I'm saying? Hey, key to safety too, right? See what they're doing. If he ain't moving. He's a very intentional person about everything that he does. You know, his daily process, his daily routine. He's a very serious kid and he's, he's detailed. He, he loves the game of football. And he's shown that ever since he was a, a freshman. So I really trust him right now in regards to, you know, being the type of guy to lead the younger players that are in my room right now. That's better. You're not dragging. Now when you plant, just roll out of it. You know, make comfortable and just throw your shoulders around and turn you. You're so hard trying to turn with your feet yeah. that's slowing you down on your break. One of the biggest things that gets overlooked as a leader is your approach. That's something I've been on big on since I got here. And what I mean by that is, how do you come in day in and day out? What's your mentality coming to the day? It's really easy to work hard when you want to. Who's the guy that's gonna work hard every day? Who's the guy that's gonna be focused every day? Who's the guy that's gonna come in and do recovery and do the things that you're preaching? Hell yeah, Jim! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's go! In this game, right, it's really competitive. Everybody gets the same workouts. 
Everybody has long practices, but the days that people don't want to do it, that's what separates people and that's what separates teams. The guys who are willing to put in the extra work, the guys who are willing to stand in the team, willing to come in and do recovery on an off day, those are the guys who are going to see benefits on Saturday. And if you think, I can't let this day be wasted because somebody else is going to let this day be wasted, and that's what I'm going to gain on them. Um, that's kind of how I approach it. Do what's right. That was the second of three rules Paul Christ outlined at the beginning of fall camp. For DK and Herbig, that means leading by example every moment through every phase of every day. It's not always easy, but that approach, combined with the work and effort from their teammates, is paying off. Sit! Now! Good! That's it. Feet run on contact. Stay low and explode. I think across the board, the defense has been balling. Um, just in our room alone, I think uh, Daryl Peterson has made a huge jump. He's getting the plays down well. He's learning when it's his time to make a play. So him just figuring out kind of, uh, okay, coach called this, and I'm going to set the edge and let the inside backer make a play or let Keanu make the play. I'm proud of that kid. He's doing good. <laughs> Honestly, the, the inside backers, man, uh, Tate, Muma, JT, and Chaney, man, those guys, they have some big shoes to fill. I think that, that was a big question coming up into the season, who's going to step up? And I feel comfortable with any one of those four guys, and I know Coach Leonard is comfortable with them, and uh, they, they've been making a lot of plays, so I'm, I'm excited for that. What I really like about, especially our young guys, Kalu, Skyler, Marcus, those three, I really like their confidence. They're super confident players. And I think that we really need that in our room. You know, we're young, but we have talent. And they have that confidence and that swagger to them that brings out the energy in our room. Ah! I think guys like Dean and Steph, you know, Mike G, Hawk, I really like their maturity and their approach. They've been coming in and working hard every single day. And I think that just our whole room has been making strides. So I'm excited, obviously, you know, you can talk about all you want, um, but I'm excited for, you know, Saturdays to be able to show, you know, what we kind of have been working on, so. There have been more than just glimpses of what Saturdays could look like at Camp Randall Stadium for both sides of the ball. Competition, every day. Lining up against the same players, every day. The intensity has felt like a win or a loss was actually on the line. During camp, you need that level of competition to rise. You're going against your guys every single day. You're tired, you're sore, you're beat up. You've, this guy's seen you run this route 25 times, um, and you have to find a way to win. Oh, okay, okay Mikey. Okay, Mikey. Okay, Mikey. Okay, Mikey. So that's so important, but at the same time, these guys are your teammates. These guys are the guys that you're going to need to count on during the season. The ability to be competitive on the practice field and leave that behind is so important because you can't carry that over to the locker room. You can't carry that over to the culture. Uh, hey, I still love you, boy. I still love you, boy. <laughs> that is what makes this place special, in my opinion. And it's not very common in a lot of places, and it's genuine. I mean, when I first got here, I seen that when I walked into this place and I was blown away just because I knew it was genuine. And that's what made me want to continue to be at this place because it's all about the kids. They make this place go around. That's why it's special, because it's intimate. It's an intimate relationship, not just on the surface. And that's what makes this place cool. I mean, it's better than cool. It's amazing. If you go to every single room in this program, you'll see that we have a, a bond with each other. I mean, it's something different than I've felt since I've been here. I hang out with the old linemen, you know what I mean? Like, like me and Jack Nelson are like almost best friends and we hate each other on the field. Hey, I'm two and one today, honey. No, 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 that doesn't count. Two and one. Oh. Hey, bro, I'm two and one. Hey, hey, I'm two and one. I'm two and one, bro. I, hey, thanks for the dub, bro. DBs are getting longer receivers, you know. Quarterbacks are getting along with safeties and me, and just seeing that no matter what position you are, you know, where you're from, what you play, at the end of the day, we're all Badgers. You know, I'm proud to be a Badger, and I'm forever thankful that I'm here.
Hey, I love the competition, love the fire, but all that shit stays on the field, all right? All that shit stays on the field. When we're in the locker room, we're a family, we're brothers. Let's go. Family on three, family on me, one, two, three. Family. It's not common. It's not common. It's a signature of Wisconsin, right? The culture and the brotherhood that we preach, uh, it's all about the locker room, right? It's a player run deal, and the locker room runs it all. And if you're not bought in, you're probably run out. So uh, it's an uncommon deal, but it's a common trait here. So it's, it's an awesome deal. It's real. It's not just coaching. Oh, it's all real. All real.